All right, my dears, take 300. So we got the problem, we already know. A 38-year-old man has a headache. He looks at the label of his bottle of acetaminophen to find that the recommended dosage for adults is 650 milligrams. The tablets in the bottle contain 325 milligrams each. How many tablets should the man take? Okay, so what we're going to do first is you always want to put first what you're looking for. So you put tab. Oh, much better. Guys, I went through so much <laughs> because I had it on my head. I'm going to put bloopers in of how this was. Okay, so tabs. And you can just put dose or you can just leave it blank. I always leave it blank. But for this purpose of this video, just so you know, because I'm about to tell you something. And I did dose, I guess, over here too. <laughs> Forever ago. Okay, so tabs for dose. Now this top, just already write your line so you know. Now this top part of this line is going to have to match this exactly. So just go ahead and put tab already. So you know. Just know that that has to be tab. Okay. And then go back to your problem. And then just know that the top of this, this whole part, is going to be what's available. Okay. So we go back to the problem. And we know that the tablets in the bottle contain 325 milligrams each. So you go back to your problem. So you know that one tab is 325 milligrams. Go ahead and write your times and write another line. Now, when you get to this top, this top no longer needs to match this top. Now this top matches this. So basically I'm gonna do a little square and show you how it goes. So you have line, line, right? And then you have your outside, what you're looking for. So this matches this, right? This is just whatever. This is a, uh, we could do, question mark, this is exclamation point, okay? So question mark, question mark, you got the random exclamation point, but this random exclamation point matches this random exclamation point, right? And then say this is um, a number or money sign. If you keep going with your problem, this has to be a money sign. So it goes straight and then diagonal, diagonal. I hope you guys understand that because it took me a while. So it goes straight across. So tab, tab, and then the bottom one, top, bottom, top. So bottom, then we're going to put 600 and what, 50 milligrams. And just put an X. I wouldn't suggest putting a 1. Some people put like 650 over 1. But I feel like what if something happens and you nick your pencil on the thing and you're like, oh. And you're like, oh, that's supposed to be 10. Then you're, you screwed your whole problem up. You're going to overdose your patient. So just leave it as an X. I feel like it's more safe. Um, okay. So this is how it's supposed to look. So let's double check our problem. We have a question mark, which is tab. Then, well, equals right here. Then we have another question mark, which is tab. We're good. Over exclamation point, which is milligrams. Times, we got our times. Exclamation point, which is exclamation point, which is milligrams. When I say exclamation point, I mean the, the words, I guess. So exclamation point right there, exclamation point. And then we're done with the problem. So this is if you keep going. But you guys, you guys get it. So... We erase this. I'm going to keep doing it again, though. I'm going to do a couple problems with you guys. So then I like to rewrite it because I have so much crap right here. So I rewrite it. So we know what we're looking for. So you do 1 times 650. We know that's automatically 650 milligrams. Now, you do 300 or not milligrams, just 650. Because tab and milligrams. So we just know it's 650, right? <clears throat> then you go to your bottom. 325 times X is 325 now you just take your handy dandy calculator y'all it's thanksgiving i forgot to say that happy thanksgiving babies three 650 divided by 325 right two tabs so this is when you can write your label so two oh that's ugly <laughs> that's hilarious no judgments y'all two tabs you could do per dose this is your answer okay so i'm gonna do another one with you guys so you guys can see it more in depth
Found some. I found one. Okay. Where's my board? Okay, right here. Okay. Got my calculator, got my board, got my eraser. Okay. So let's read the problem. It took forever to find this problem. It is practice examples, but okay, so it says a provider contains levothyroxine. Levothyroxine. I'm going to butcher these names. I'm sorry. 125 milligram micrograms by mouth daily. This might, no, I was going to say this might have a conversion, but it's not. Okay. So 125 micrograms by mouth is PO daily. The pharmacy provides levothyroxine in tablets containing 250 milligrams. Okay. Or micrograms. Sorry. Micrograms. Calculate the number of tablets to give. Round to the nearest half tablet. Okay. So, okay, so now we know what we're looking for, right? So we know we're looking for, we know we're looking for tabs. Sorry, my handwriting is horrible right now because I'm trying to do this with one hand and record with the other hand. So we, look, we know we're looking for tablets per dose, okay? Now, just automatically write your not line, automatically write your X, automatically write your line. That's how I do it. So when I'm writing, I go like this because I know it's going to be, it has to be two parts. There's no way. And then if you can keep going, just keep going. But I automatically write those two. No problem can have, cannot have those two lines. Okay, so tab per dose. Let's go back to our problem. We see that the pharmacy provides levothyroxine, whatever, sorry, in tablets containing 250 micrograms. So we know that one tab contains 250 micrograms okay now go back that's what's available now let's see what the physician ordered so the provider ordered 125 micrograms by mouth so that's what we put up here 125 micrograms see do or tab tab straight across so question mark equals question mark over exclamation point times Exclamation point money sign. So if you go on, so I'm not even going to put this. So exclamation point over X. So we got our exclamation point tab equals exclamation point tab. Same thing over or question mark. So we got tab, which is the question mark, equals tab, which is this question mark, over exclamation point, which is micrograms over or across micrograms, which is exclamation point. And then X on the bottom. Okay, so tab, tab, drop down, micrograms, diagonal, micrograms. Whatever's there, diagonal, whatever, you see it? Okay, there's a little pattern. Hopefully we can find a longer problem so you can see how it keeps going. Okay, so then just do your whole multiplication across. I would not suggest doing this in the calculator straight across. I suggest writing it so you can write down the right numbers because sometimes you know, it never happens. It happens. So we know that 1 times 125 is 125. And we know that 250 times X is 250. Right. And then you just <clears throat> divide it. So 125 divided by 250 is 0 0.5. Round to the nearest half tablet. But you can't round this up because then you're giving your patient too much. So it's just a half tablet there's your answer so but there's your answer for this one so tabs per dose the uh what's available is one tablet is 20 250 micrograms then the provider ordered 125 micrograms to be taken so then you times that across times that across divide that and you get the the patient or whoever the patient has to take a half tab of levomyrcin or whatever, thyroxine, whatever. Yeah, I hope you guys understand because I'm not that good at teaching and I'm like sweating here trying to do this video because I'm like, it's a lot. <laughs> okay, so let's do another problem. I found them all. Okay, so example two. A provider orders a tenolol 75 milligrams by mouth daily. The provider, prov the provider, the pharmacy provides a tenolol in tablets containing 50 milligrams.
calculate the number of tablets to give. Round to the nearest half tablet. Okay, guys. So we know that they say calculate the tablets. What I do is go straight to the end. I go to straight to see what I'm looking for. So it says calculate the number of tablets to give. So boom, I'm already going to write my tab to start over those. And I write equals this times this. Boom. So just set up your whole problem like this. So what you're looking for over those equals the line times the line. Once you're done with that, go back to your problem and look what's available. So it looks like the pharmacy provides them with a tenolol in tablets containing 50 milligrams. So we know that one tab of a tenolol, I hope I'm saying it right, is 50 milligrams. Okay? So, so far, question mark question mark exclamation point right so then we go back to the problem and look what they ordered so it says the provider orders 75 milligrams so we come back up here and we put our second exclamation point 75 milligrams and you're done so now write it out 75 over 50 I probably should know this by heart but I don't 1 and a half tab, or don't forget to put your thing. One and a half tab, perfect. I hope you guys, I'm trying to keep it so you guys can screenshot it so you guys can see. Okay, now I'm gonna do another one. I'm probably gonna do like five for you guys. Okay, so then I have another one. Provider orders digoxin 250 micrograms, right? This one con contains a conversion. You guys don't know conversions yet, but... Oh, I don't know if you do, actually. I'm not going to just assume. I know conversions, so I'm just going to do it. So the provider orders the Joxin 250 micrograms by mouth daily. The pharmacy provides the Joxin in tablets containing 0 0.25 milligrams. So right there, we know that one tab is 0 0.25 milligrams. Okay, calculate the number of tablets to give. Now to the tab tab. So automatically, write tab... Over dose equals line times line. Okay, so for this one, it's going to be three lines. You already know because it is a conversion. So we can write tab. So we can write it smaller. So tab per dose equals line times line times line. Perfect. So since you already knew there's a conversion, just write three lines. That's how I do it if I know there's a conversion. Okay, so let's see what's available. It says... Digoxin, one tab is 100 and, or 0 0.25 milligrams, right? Okay, so we know that's tab. So one tab is 0 0.25 milligrams. Now we're looking for tab, but they gave us a micrograms right in the middle of the problem, right? So what I like to do is with conversions, because I remember them, I write them out. So I know that 1,000 micrograms equals one milligram. I know that 1,000 milligrams, well, you guys can see it right there, equals one gram. I know that 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. I know that 1,000 kilograms equals one ton. Okay? That, so I write that in the corner because this is probably the most conversion you'll probably use. Oh, excuse me, SpongeBob, guys. I'm obsessed with SpongeBob right now. Okay, so it looks like we have milligrams here. So let's go to the problem with milligrams. And we're trying to get to micrograms. So this has milligrams, but it goes to grams. So nope, cross that out. This is all grams and kilograms. So no, we, we know we're going to use this one. So it looks like milligrams, so we use our exclamation point. So one milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. Now, guys, you see? Tab, tab, microgram, microgram, or milligram, milligram. There's a microgram. Now, in our problem, it gives us 250 micrograms. So now we're good to go. 250 micrograms. Now you're finished. This is how you do we. Okay. Let me stop. <laughs> so we see question mark, question mark, exclamation point, exclamation point. Money sign, money sign. So tap, tap, and then diagonally, you got micrograms, micrograms. 
another diagonally, micrograms, micrograms, okay? So then write out the times. So we know 1 times 1 is 1, times 250 is 250. So 250. And we know 0 0.25 times 1,000. I should know this too, I guess. But I rely on calculators, sorry. It's 250. Don't judge me. Y'all probably like, oh, that's so easy. So no negative comments, please. I just like using my calculator to be sure. Okay. So 250 times 250, obvious, or divided by 250 is obviously one. Whatever divided by itself is one. So they have one tab to take per dose. Boom. And what you can also do, which I always do, which I forgot to tell you guys, after I have my problem that looks like this, I go ahead and cross, cross everything out. Right? And then this right here, this X signifies dose. I hope you guys know that. So this X signifies dose. I just don't write dose every time down there. So once you get to the end of your problem, start crossing out because it has to cross out diagonally. And then you're left with tabs per dose, which is what you're looking for. So boom, you already know that one tab per dose. Okay? But I can teach um, drip, not drip from, yeah, flow rates. We learn flow rates. I can teach um, calories intakes. I can teach all those other stuff. Just let me know. Comment below if you want that type of stuff. Like, let me go to the chapter so you guys know what the hell I'm talking about. Intro feeding, NG feeding, stuff like that. We learned how to do that. We learned how to calculate, I think, flow. Cal we learned how to calculate the flow rate. We learned um, how to dilute it. We learned and how to calculate ca calorie and protein needs. So if you guys want a video on that, let me know and I will do that for you guys. No problem. Said if you guys want me to do flow rates, dilution, um, and calculating calorie needs, comment below. Let me know. Let's let's just get it, y'all. I gotta teach y'all somehow because I taught. I didn't teach myself, but you know, like the teachers taught us and then you got to practice. So if you guys want more videos of math, tell me what you guys want because I do these videos for you guys. So if you guys want math videos, if you guys want um, other videos pertaining to nursing, let me know. I will do them. Um, what was I going to say? That's it. I think that's it. But yeah, if you guys want more videos like that, let me know. Please let me know because I am here. I mean, I don't have that much time, but I could figure out a time to do them, you know. So, that's it for today, guys. Love ya. Bye.